Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Check it. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the One UI 2.5 and some of the new changes that the One UI 2.5 brings that the One UI 2.1 and 2.0 or older versions don't have. So let's dive in and get started. So I did make a video about this earlier where I couldn't find many changes, but upon deeper inspection, I was able to find five new changes and features on the One UI 2.5. So in this video, let's discover what those are. So right here, I have a device running One UI 2.5. And as you know, this is a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5G. And of course, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 series also have uh, the software One UI version 2.5 with Android 10. And of course, everything before that right now uh, is running One UI 2.1, 2.0, or even 1.5 or even lower if you have a budget model. So let me tap this guy right here. Let's go inside. Oops, let's go to about phone, go to software information. So that's One UI 2.1. So let's dive in. Now the first one has to do with the actual keyboard. So let's launch the keyboards on both of these smartphones here and here. I'm gonna tap here and here. And what we have brand new on the 2.5 for the most part is the same, but we do have a new option. If you go to the settings of your keyboard, okay, you'll notice that we have a new option that says YouTube at the bottom. Now this one is not gonna have that. It's gonna have everything else but the YouTube option. We have Spotify, Spotify. Oops, let's go back here. Samsung Pass, Samsung Pass. Got the modes and modes and everything else is right here, including the translation feature, which is on the top here. But we don't have YouTube on 2.1, but we have it on 2.5. So what, what I can do with this is if I tap it, uh, it is going to search through popular uh, videos and I can share that directly with the person that I'm talking to. So what happens here is if I tap on the video or the title, it puts a link right here with the title. I can send that over to my friend or uh, whoever I'm talking to. Let's say okay to that as well. And uh, also what I can do is if I tap over here, uh, I can search for a specific video. So if I want to search uh, CNN, for example, I can just type it here tap on search, it's gonna search uh, YouTube videos relating to CNN, as you can see. All right, when I'm done, I can X out. And again, if I go back over there, let me just go back to the main uh, YouTube option here. That's my history and that's the popular videos. Now, if I were to tap on the arrow, it takes me straight into the actual video. So if I were to tap on the arrow, boom, it launches the YouTube application and starts to play that video. So that's change number one on One UI 2.5. Let's look at the camera features that have been added as well. So I'm gonna launch the camera. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the pro video mode. Let's go to pro video mode. I'm gonna go right here and right here. Now you'll notice on the top right here, it says full high definition 30. That means the resolution that this video is being recorded at is full high definition at 30 frames per second. Here, you don't get to see the option. On top of that, you have you can press this button here that changes the focus area from center to multi, okay? We don't have that option here. Everything else at the bottom is the same. You can control the ISO, uh, the, the aperture, the shutter, the exposure, the white balance at the bottom on both sides. But if you want to change the area of your focus from center to multi, you cannot do that on 2.1, which means once we get 2.5 on the on these other devices like the S20, S10, Note 10, we'll get this option as well. Now on top of that, if I were to tap on settings, let me show you one more thing. Uh, let's go to rear video size and I'm gonna go to resolution 16 by nine and let's uh, pick UHD 60 uh, frames per second. Again, if I go back out, now it says UHD, which is 4K at 60 frames per second. You can see that on the top here, which makes sense because this is a pro video mode. It's nice to see what's happening on the screen. Now, finally, uh, in any mode that, in any video mode, you have something brand new. So let me just go back to video mode. If I go to the settings here and here, and if I tap on rear video size, you'll notice that there's a new aspect ratio. That's 22 by nine. It's gonna be super, super wide. In fact, it, it matches the uh, aspect ratio of the latest smartphones like these. So if you wanna fill the entire screen with your video, you can do that as well. You can go right here 
and then there's only one resolution and one frames per second. So that's something that's also going to be available on One UI 2.5 in the camera section, a brand new aspect ratio. Now here's a quick difference between recording in 22 by 9 and 16 by 9. So here this video is uh, recorded using 16 by 9. I'm going to play it. Take a look at it. You can see the black bars here and here, okay? That means it's 16 by nine. We have the black bars. We can pinch like this and fill the screen if I want to. However, when you record in uh, 22 by nine, it's just gonna by default fill the entire screen. So let me play this video. Look at that. The whole screen is filled. I don't have to pinch in or pinch out. This is the actual size of the video. All right, so we have a new thing in the messages. So let's go to my messages application, okay? Mostly it's the same, but as you can see, I have a bunch of categories right here. I can have family, friends, work, and I can add messages from work here, from friends here, and family here to keep everything nice and organized if you use messages a lot. I got the same thing here that I can do, okay? Not a big deal, but when you tap on One UI 2.5 right here, you can actually edit your categories, okay? You can add categories and remove categories from this edit window. With this one, we don't have that option, okay? You tap on plus here, you add a category. Let me just do a test, test category. And you then have to select a message that goes into that test category. I'm gonna click done. It's gonna pop right there. And now there's no way for me to delete this category unless I remove the message and even after that, for some reason, it's going to stay here. With this one, I can tap on edit and remove something that I don't want right from here and also rename it, okay? So that's one new thing in the messages application. Now, the final thing that I've noticed in the uh, One UI 2.5 as opposed to previous versions, if you go into your finder window and if I tap on uh, settings right here, uh, finder settings, let's go over here also, uh, go to finder settings. Uh, you'll notice that we don't have the cu customization service option over here for our finder, okay? And that's the final thing I've noticed. Uh, if I do find more changes, I will make a video and give you a quick update. I also have a video that shows uh, 2.5 to 2.1 side by side, going from top to bottom through every menu to make sure there's nothing different. But this one here focused on what is actually different and new and as you can see it's not much but there are a couple enhancements here and there and I'm assuming with a 2.5 hitting other devices soon we are all gonna get these minor updates again stay tuned if I find more updates I'll make another video for now guys have a fantastic day all right all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.